Why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. Peace, family. This is your brother, Mr. Holipsism. Um, this is <laughs> this is sort of a strange um video I'm doing here. Um, I don't really have an opinion on this, but it, I just thought that it would be insightful information. Um, specifically geared toward club chicks. Or chicks who like to go out to party and on the weekend and get drunk and dance and whatever. I used to work um, the overnight shift. At, at the time, it was Manhattan Cable. I think now it's called um, Cable Vision or Time Warner, whatever. I don't know. And when I worked the overnight, I would go to lunch, maybe I think it was around three or four o'clock in the morning. So there wasn't really anything open except like a deli. And that was on, I, I worked on 23rd Street between Park and Lex. Now, if anybody is in New York, they know that 23rd, between 23rd and 28th on Lex was like the whole stroll. That's where the prostitutes would be. So I believe that the deli I went to was like on 25th or 26th. It was somewhere like a few blocks away from 23rd Street. So since I would go there every day for lunch, I would see the prostitutes. And we would see each other all the time. So it got to the point where if I saw them, I'd say hi. they say hi to me, blah, 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 blah. And sometimes they would be in the deli getting food when I was getting food. So I was privy to a lot of their conversations. And one of the conversations that I found interesting was their frustration with club chicks. The chicks that used to go out to the club on the weekend and stuff, they were very frustrated with those girls. And I used to hear them call them this term, which I thought was funny. They called them free holes. Free holes. And their frustration was the girls who were going to the club were dressed in the exact same way that the street walkers were. So they were out actually trying. The reason why they dressed the way they did is because they were actually trying to sell their body. That's why they dressed that way. <laughs> so you had the girls going to the club who wasn't trying to sell their body but was wearing the same uniform as them. So it, it, it basically, at some point, I guess they were prophetic. The free hoes kind of drove the real hoes out of business. The street walkers were no longer on 28th Street after a while because they couldn't get any play. What's the point of me telling you that? Just for information? I mean, I don't really have anything to say I'm not against club chicks. You know, I'm, I'm not against anybody doing whatever they do. It has nothing to do with me. But I just thought that that was a very interesting dynamic, that the women who's walking around in the club right now are wearing the costume of prostitutes, but they're not selling their body. It, it's not, well, you know, it's not like they're not selling it in the same way the prostitute is. In order to get down with the prostitute, you got to show the money. So it's an even exchange. It's an upfront, you know, exchange. The prostitute isn't asking you to take them to dinner or the movies or treat them to a five-star restaurant. I just think that that's funny. <laughs> maybe, maybe you guys uh, will get some humor out of it too. And that's the only reason. I just thought about it and I said, let me make a video letting people know about this and maybe they'll find it interesting. Anyway. Um, I'll let you good people later.
Peace.